Hey, what's up guys? Quinn here. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we have a really exciting topic where I am finally completing my classroom fish wall. So if you've been following along in the last few videos, I've hinted that I was moving in my apartment from the city of Chicago, and I'm finally gonna move one of those tanks into my classroom, and it's finally gonna complete this fish wall. So I think it's gonna look phenomenal. Can't wait to show you guys. But before we get into all that, you know the drill. Let's hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. So to start, we're gonna to head to my apartment in the city where my brother Troy is gonna help me break down the aquarium and eventually bring it over to the classroom. Cue the montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. classroom guys All right guys, so it's been a couple days. We let the filter kind of do its thing and it has worked phenomenally. The tank is already cleared up and it's just as clear as it was in my apartment. Maybe even clearer actually. As you can see here, the fish are all doing very well. We were worried about losing a few because we did not take them out of the tank, but we actually did not lose any of them. Still got all the Tetras, you got the Odessa Barbs, and the Harley Ken Rasporas in there. 
All right, so you can see that the scape is still kind of out of control. Um, the carpeting plant is still way too high and got quite a bit of algae buildup on the glass. So I will be totally revamping this tank whenever the school year begins. I'll be able to trim the carpeting uh, plant down. I think I'm gonna take out most of the Rotala Indica back there. So I'm just having a nice clean carpet all the way across. Um, one cool thing about moving the tank is all of my Amano shrimp actually came out. I put them in the tank about four months ago and they've just been hiding underneath this log, but now they are bore out and look at this guy. They're about three times as big as when I got them. So these things are great for um, eating algae off the tank. So as you can see, my decor needs some help there. So yeah, overall, very excited about this. And I think it actually looks way better in my classroom compared to my apartment. And I'll show you why. So here is the brand new completed fish wall in my classroom. Got four pretty large tanks now. You can see that the planted tank contrasts very well with the other three tanks. What's cool too is all four tanks are different sizes. So obviously we got the 60 gallon planted tank here with the community fish. Then we have a slightly smaller 55 gallon with my girl Felix. She has tons of personality. My students love her. If you've been following along, you would know that. Now to the 75 gallon. You can see here I got some silver dollars. I got a mouth brooding severum that just went under the log and a phenomenal looking fire mouth. This fire mouth is pretty sweet. I think it's gonna be a real stunner. So eventually these guys are going to go into the 110 gallon. The 110 gallon is the show tank here. You got Joker the Green Terror. Gold Psalm. She is abs or he is absolutely beautiful. Then moving on, you got the Jack Dempsey and Convict. They're not used to seeing me over summer, so they're a little scared. I love the blue that has come out in Jack. I think he's doing really good in this tank. So there we have it. There is the completed fish wall. This has been a long-term plan for a couple of years now, so I'm super happy to finally have it completed. Here's the view from my desk. Can't beat that. And one exciting thing, we have a whole nother wall. Oh my sweet Jesus. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and the new classroom updates. Remember, when the school year starts, we'll have a ton more content coming from this classroom. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.